Okay, hi everybody. This is the Math 31 Derivatives Review, question 1P. Got to take the derivative of this. Okay, now here's a good example of something that's going to end up being the quotient rule. What I'm going to do here is simplify this a little bit. I don't like this x minus 1 over x over x plus 1. Ugh. So the numerator is going to become x squared minus 1 over x over x plus 1. And then because of the, uh, the way the denominator works here, I'm dividing fraction by this. This is going to end up becoming x squared minus 1 over um, x times x plus 1. And then notice the difference of squares here. So this becomes x minus 1 x plus 1 over x x plus 1. Okay, the x plus 1's cancel. And I am going to be left with x minus 1 over x. <laughs> Actually, this perhaps this won't require the quotient rule. Actually, I'm going to do the quotient rule anyway. I, you could simplify this down a little bit further. Um, but you know what? I'm going to use the quotient rule because I, I really think we need to see the quotient rule here. I'm a little surprised that that actually uh, worked as nicely as it did. Uh, it, you should know that here I'm not working from a key. So I'm just kind of doing these these questions as we go here. So a lot of what you're, you're hearing is just kind of stream of consciousness for me. Um, but in this case here, let's use the, the quotient rule. The quotient rule says the derivative of the numerator, which is 1, times the denominator, minus the derivative of the denominator, which is 1, times the numerator, all over the denominator squared. Okay, and I'm going to come over here and do this because I'm, I'm scared that this is going to take up a little bit more space. This is going to end up being x uh, minus x plus 1 over x squared. Okay, I can see that the x's are going to cancel each other out, and so this is going to be uh, 1 over x squared. Now, this is, however, under the, the stipulation here, because up here we ran into a little bit of an issue here. When I simplified this, I canceled this x plus 1 over the x plus 1. I mean, I got a 1 out of that. And so there is a restriction here that x is not allowed to be equal to negative 1. That is not visible down here in the derivative, or in the, the simplified function or in the derivative. So we need to state that x cannot equal negative 1. x cannot equal negative 1. Now there's obviously another restriction here that x can't be 0. Uh, but this is the one that's invisible, okay, that I can't see anymore. So I need to include that. 